Data science might be dying and AI has killed it. Is data science even a worthwhile pursuit in the year of 2024? Labeled the sexiest job of the 21st century by the Harvard Business Review, nowadays, data science is looking more like a dumpster fire following the rise of AI tools like the ChatGPT code interpreter, which has automated a lot of the daily responsibilities of a data scientist. Despite promising job growth of 20 plus percent within the next decade, I'm worried that data science is gonna end up like our friends the script writers, the next white collar job to kick the bucket. But today I wanna to explore just how likely it is that AI technologies purge data scientists of their livelihoods. And I wanna explore whether data science in the year of 2024 is still worth studying. So to answer those questions, I wanna start by looking at some cold hard facts. The first and fundamental question I wanna explore is whether data science is dying today. According to the U.S. Bureau for Labor Statistics, the data science job market is expected to grow by a staggering 35% between the years of 2022 and 2032. Now, I'm no expert, but 35% seems like an awful lot, especially when the average job growth in the United States is 5.3%. That's almost seven times higher. I mean, I guess as long as we can trust what the government says, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Yet, to be honest, the progression of artificial intelligence technology has seriously put a dent in these rosy predictions. Different AI tools have already automated tasks and responsibilities of the data scientist. For example, the ChatGPT code interpreter can actually receive data and make visual analyses from it automatically without the aid of humans. There's also the worry of the mass FANG company layoffs. Over 70,000 jobs were cut in technology in 2022. And it has me asking the question of whether the golden age of tech jobs, including data science, is already over. Due to these developments, I find myself asking the question if I have to become a TikTok influencer who sells charcoal toothpaste to make my living. Kathleen Fetteringham, director of AI strategy at Booz Allen Hamilton, explains that the data science title is probably going to fade in the coming years as responsibilities and job duties continue to merge and blend together. This brings me to a key factor in understanding whether data science jobs are dying, which is understanding the difference between a data analyst, a data scientist, and a data engineer, among other data jobs. A data analyst is looking at data and trying to extract valuable insights and actionable steps for a business from that data. A data scientist is prepping the data and developing machine learning algorithms to actually make projections and predictions from that data. And a data engineer is developing and maintaining the architecture both to pipe the data into the algorithms and make sure that the models don't go haywire. It's uh, basically the maintenance. Now, of course, these are just my summaries and the lines are often blurred, but it brings me to the point of certain data jobs are more likely to be replaced than others. For example, data engineers are much harder to replace because their skills are often tailored to a specific company and they have to do end-to-end -end maintenance, which is hard to automate with just one AI tool. This brings me to my point that data jobs are not dying, but they definitely are changing. For instance, in my current internship at Bridges Health Partners, I use ChatGPT to make visualizations in the Python library Seaborn. Now this is an automation that saves me hours of time, but what AI can't replicate is the communication that I have to do after that to actually explain it to my executives. After entering the workforce, I was actually really surprised with how clueless executives can be about technology. Like no matter how good they are with managing people in the business side of it, they can be completely clueless when looking at actual technical things. So yeah, I'm not betting on a 70 year old CEO to be able to read, interpret and analyze API output. I think data scientists and data jobs in general are still gonna be needed to do those things. And honestly, this might be a good thing because it's gonna automate a lot of the tasks we don't like to do. Like, Seriously, who likes data cleaning? So to answer the question, for the foreseeable future, data science is not dying, it's just changing. But this leads to another interesting question, which is whether it's too late to begin studying data science today. Which leads to the second major question, which is whether I personally regret majoring in data science. For us who have only been studying data science for a couple of years, what does the progression of AI actually mean for us 15 years down the line? Is it even worth it to start studying if we're eventually gonna be replaced? To answer this, I want to begin by saying after three years in college, I have already received multiple internship offers and actually have two currently. I have my current position at Bridges Health Partners as a data analyst intern, and I'll be joining Travelers Insurance in the summer as a business intelligence and analyst position. Now, I don't bring this up to like boast about how I'm such a good student, but my point here is that data jobs are not in short supply for people who are studying it right now. 
There's lots of great internships and job opportunities out there for people who are skilled in this field. I've also received a research fellowship for studying AI ethics. I've made a ton of cool connections to people in the industry. And I can genuinely say that like, I love what I study every day. I find my classes super interesting and I even enjoy my office job. I think that's part of what makes data science so exciting is that the field is constantly evolving. It's constantly growing. Like why would you wanna join a stagnant industry where you're not gonna see any progress in what you do? In data science, we're constantly making developments and that's what makes it so fun. I remember in the summer of 2022 when I saw the image generator Dolly by OpenAI for the first time. I remember being completely amazed just being able to see a computer generate these images just from a prompt I gave it. And from that moment forward, I knew I wanted to contribute to this field and I knew that this was something that I didn't want to just treat as a hobby and that I wanted to make it my career, my vocation. Yet now with the rise of AI and online learning, I'm starting to question whether data science is worth studying today. Should you go to a proper university to receive a data science education? Is it even worth it? From my experience as a traditional college student, university doesn't always teach you the most applicable skills in the real world that are actually in demand. For example, in my university education, I've received no instruction in learning GitHub, cloud services, or data engineering. Most of my classes were centered around base coding skills, mathematics skills like statistics, and some basic visualization and Python programming. Now this might be a different experience for you if you go to a large university, because my data science department has like 10 kids and Duquesne University isn't exactly a tech school. But regardless, there's probably gonna be skills that are in demand out there in the industry that college is not gonna teach you. I've found that in my current internship, I've often had to resort to Udemy or YouTube to learn the skills that my company actually wants me to know. Which really blows because I'm paying $160,000 to study data science at university and a lot of the skills I'm learning are kind of worthless. To further illustrate this, Forbes listed the most in-demand tech skills in 2024. Among them are communication, cloud services technology, project management, and data engineering. Near the bottom of the list is actual data analysis. So this kind of shows that technical skills are still in demand, like the stuff you learn at college you can apply, but at the same time, soft skills and intangibles are much more valuable in the workplace today. The good news is that these skills are hard to replace with AI, so in that vein, AI is still worth studying. The bad news is that paying $160,000 for a college degree might not be the best investment if you want to go into data science. I've definitely learned a ton of valuable things from my university education, but if I could go back in time and redo it, I would study a more university-friendly field like applied mathematics or computer science, so I could build that technical base that university teaches better, and then I would simply learn data science on the side. There's so many great resources out there to teach yourself data science. There's courses on Udemy, and some of them are even free, like the famous machine learning Coursera course. So this leads me to my answer that yes, it is absolutely worth studying data science in 2024. Just be careful on what path you tread down. It might be worth it to get a related degree in a technical field if you wanna to go to college, and then use the vast amount of online resources to learn data science on the side, or maybe minor in data science, and then you can transition to the field that way. Once again, just my personal experience. It could be completely different for you. You just have to find how you learn and what works. So if you decide to study data science, there are a couple things that you need to consider moving forward, uh, things that I have found that are important within the rise of artificial intelligence. My humble student perspective might mean dog shit, but the data, uh, uh, shows that humans are actually evolving alongside AI and it's being used, at least right now, more as a tool than as a replacement for jobs. Part of this lies in the fact that a key job of a data scientist is defining the business problem. You're also in charge of defining success metrics, communicating with the stakeholders, doing the data cleaning, a lot of things that can't easily be replicated by AI. Even if you have like a bunch of separate tools that do these tasks together, you're still gonna need someone who's in charge of interpreting the results and making sure everything doesn't go haywire. Like for example, when factory jobs were replaced, they ended up hiring people to manage the machines and make sure everything runs smoothly. In this way, data jobs might change, but they're not gonna necessarily be erased. It's true that some skills and job responsibilities will be lost. Like I think it's likely that the documentation of matplotlib will fade into internet obscurity but it's not gonna change the fundamental fact that businesses still want data scientists to be able to help them out, to be able to help them to grow, 
and the skills you learn studying data science are still valuable in the workplace today. Now, of course, this is all contingent on AGI not happening. In that case, we might all end up like the fat people from Wally. But for now, we're just gonna assume that that's not happening. You know, maybe I'm deluding myself to not let the whispers creep in at night that I'm wasting my time and that I'm easily replaced. But I think for now, after reviewing the facts, I'm happy to revel in this fantasy because at least today, data science is not dying and I love what I study every day. The take home message here is whether you're pessimistic or optimistic about AI influencing the workplace, it's impossible to predict the future. I mean, people from the 50s thought we'd have nuclear powered flying cars by now, and instead we have virtual reality and sex robots. Some may say it's an improvement, but it's definitely different than what people thought. And I think that just illustrates how hard it is to predict the development of technology in the future. Will data science die in 10 years? Maybe. Does it really matter? I don't think so. Because data science is not dead today and it's still such a fun and exciting field to be a part of. So I would absolutely encourage you to study it if you're interested. Personally, how I plan to navigate AI moving forward is one, familiarizing myself with the current AI tools so I can increase my productivity, but also developing my soft skills and the intangibles that can't easily be automated. Skills like communication, project management, and actually maintaining these systems. That way, I'm less likely to be replaced. Just trying to hedge my bets here. Thanks for watching y'all, hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna check out some of my other content, I talk a lot about artificial intelligence in college in general, so I think you'd love some other videos on my channel. Other than that, peace out.